Here are the starters for the $250,000 Classic Disc Staff Final. Number one owned in Lexington, Kentucky by former University of Kentucky and NBA star Charles Cotton Nash and his wife Julie and daughter Francine Nash, a 2002 Classic Disc Staff Elimination winner at Dover Downs has 13 victories and been 17 times in the money in 21 starts this season, a career winner of 539,000, trained by Noel Deli. Luke Willette will drive number one artistic vision. The two, owned in New York State by John Stark Jr. and W. Springtime Racing Stable, one of the sport's outstanding female pacers, voted U.S. Harness Riders Association Horse of the Year in 2001, a ten-time winner this season, and more than $2.2 million in her career. Her trainer and driver is John Stark, Jr., number two, Bunny Lake. Entering the track, owned in Haviland, Ohio, by the Eternal Cam Nation Stable, the richest and fastest female pacer of all time. A winner of all three classic disc staff eliminations, including a world record mile of 151 and 1 here at Dover Downs. The first female pacer to earn $3 million in a career. Trained by Jeff Miller, Eric Ledford will drive number three, Eternal Cam Nation. The four are owned in New York by Money Market Breeders and in New Jersey by Joie de Vie Farms an ultra-consistent performer throughout her career, and a lifetime winner of more than 990,000, one of the sport's few mares who have paced in 150, trained by Linda Toscano, Mike Lachance drives number four, Cam Swifty. The five, owned in Washington, Pennsylvania by Cam Land, second last week, third at Mohawk, and at Dover Downs in classic distaff eliminations, a winner of 624,000 lifetime, trained by Bill Zent, Dave Miller drives number five, always Cam. And completing the field, number six from Ohio, owned by Tom Girdman and Elaine and Robert Lauf, third in last week's Meadowlands elimination and second at Mohawk, a hard-hitting mare who has won six times with 15 races in the money and 21 starts this year, a winner of more than 547,000 in her career, trained by Jeff Miller. Her driver is John Campbell, number six, Cinder Best. Five minutes, mile and a quarter. Here they come, off stride, artistic vision. They're off along the inside. There goes Bunny Lake out for the lead with Eternal Cam Nation getting away second, followed by Cam Swifty. Then comes always Cam, Cinder Best, and Artistic Vision is now pacing but trailing as they move around the first turn. It's Bunny Lake with an easy lead. Eternal Cam Nation sitting second, followed by Cam Swifty, who got away in third racing, fourth always Cam, then it's Cinder Best, and catching the pack. Artistic Vision, there goes Cam. Eternal Cam Nation up to get the lead now from Bunny Lake, 29 seconds. Eternal Cam Nation on the outside. Bunny Lake has the rail. It's another two lanes back to Cam Swifty. Then it's always Cam Cinderbest. And at the end, Artistic Vision as they move around the turn. Cam, Eternal Cam Nation on the outside is being parked there a long way. And Eternal Cam Nation is working to get that lead. Back to second went Bunny Lake. The half now goes in 56 seconds that was 27 flat on that second quarter and eternal cam nation has the lead by a length and a half in second bunny lake followed by cam swifty to the outside now always cam cinderbest will follow then it's artistic vision trying to get a breather eternal cam nation flying up there now is always cam and always cam from the outside is up battling with eternal cam nation cinderbest on the outside, Bunny Lake has the rail as they move around the clubhouse turn, 125 and 1. And always Clam got the lead by a length and a half. Eternal Cam Nation back to second, racing in third is Bunny Lake. Then at the rail, that's Cam Swifty with Cinderbust on the outside. They're midway at the back stretch. Always Cam's got the lead by a length and a half. Eternal Cam Nation sitting there in second now, followed by Bunny Lake. Next is Cam Swifty. They go into the final turn. And Always Cam's got the lead. It's almost two. They're moving midway on the final turn. Always Cam. Eternal Cam Nation. Two lanes further back on the outside there. That 
It's Buddy Luke. They come toward the top of the stretch. The mile in 153 and two fifths coming off the turn. It's always Cam and Dave Miller. They've got the lead. Eternal Cam Nation coming on the outside, coming hard. Always Cam's digging in. Eternal Cam Nation. One final try. Here's the wire. Eternal Cam Nation may have nailed always Cam. Tight, 222 and 4. Getting up three, Eternal Cam Nation in a gritty performance. Second was five, always Cam. Third, two, Bunny Lake. In the winner's circle, number three, Eternal Cam Nation. Six-year-old Bay Mare by Cam Fell, owned by Eternal Cam Nation Stable. Trained by Jeff Miller, driven a victory by Eric Ledford, 222 and four-fifths. In that winner's circle, John Hensley, manager of harness racing, Mark Brockrod, publicity director, owners of Eternal Cam Nation. Because uh, we have to find out what happened there. Everyone was so apprehensive. What a fantastic uh, finish to a brilliant race. And Eric, to drive a horse of this magnitude must be something special for you. Yeah, it's been uh, an incredible ride. What about the race itself? Uh, uh, it seems as though you had some difficulty when you went for the lead against Bunny Lake early, and then you had to race in the hole, and it uh, looked like you never were going to get there. No, uh, well, she finds a way to get there. Uh, it wasn't anything that I'd done tonight, and, you know, Jeff always has her ready for the big races, and uh, she finds a way to win the races. What were your plans before the race? Do you, do you have a given plan, or do you just let things go uh, the way they happen? No, it's uh, this race here proved it. You can't plan out anything. Uh, the whole complexity of the race, uh, I think, changes when Luke made the break behind the gate, and, uh, you know, we was walking, and I couldn't take a chance of sitting in a two-hole. Well, to race a horse of this uh, class uh, for a young fellow who's really moved up so quickly uh, through the ranks in harness racing has got to be a compliment to you. Uh, it's an honor. How about uh, yourself? What, uh, what's been your background? Have you ever thought of anything else but driving horses? <laughs> no, not at all. Well, you're at the top of the game now. Mm, thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much. Eric Ledford, the driver of the winner. Eternal Cam Nation. And congratulations also to Jeff Miller, who is standing between our executives from the uh, Classic Series. Let's move a little bit uh, toward here so we can be picked up properly. And Jeff, there's so many Millers in this entourage we have here, and, and Doc Miller tells me that uh, most of you aren't related. No, we're not. <laughs> How did this all come about? Um, I, you know, I really don't know. It just happened. Okay. How about when you uh, selected uh, Eternal Cam Nation, when she uh, went through the sales ring? Uh, we, she was a filly that re really caught our eyes. I mean, she was, uh, you know, if she'd have been on two legs, you'd have given her a whistle. <laughs> well, she certainly has proven that. How about uh, what are your plans from here on out? You've won close to four million now. Yeah. Well, I think we got a little ways to get to that, but... Uh, you know, she's. I think she deserves a little bit of a break, and and uh, as long as she comes back, uh, training back next year, we're gonna we're gonna try her another year. I just wanted to ask you, do you have any plans for this ten thousand dollar bonus? Uh, 
I don't know, but my wife might. <laughs> I'm sure she does. Thank you, Jeff Miller, for uh, your uh, part in making Eternal Cam Nation something extra special. And we